Hey everyone, welcome back to the new video. It's Namrata here. Hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I thought to share with you my thoughts on this three newly launched Maybelline products. So I picked this up from CVS the other day. They were having some kind of offer like buy any of two Maybelline products and get $5 off. So I decided to pick all three newly launched products, especially the lip gloss is exclusively available at CVS. They are not yet very easily available but wait for a few weeks uh, it will be everywhere in all the drugstores I believe. I'm gonna start with this brow product. So this is called brow extensions and I picked the shade deep brown which is 260 and the best part is it says it has here like fiber in the formula which sounds so interesting. I mean uh, it's pretty unique. I never had this kind of formula for any eyebrow pencil before. So I'm really excited to try it. So this is how thick the pencil is. It's little thicker than other regular eyebrow pencils. So it has the name written in one side. And uh, wow. It's pretty thick, right? I mean, I never used this kind of thick round tip eyebrow pencil before. I always use something which is very small, very thin tip or angle tip. But this one's different although i can see a little bit of like hair like thing it's fiber so let's start applying it i mean what is going on look at this look at the tip it's pretty gross uh, with all the hair like stuff it's not looking good but it's working pretty good i mean it's nicely pigmented but uh, i'm missing one thing majorly that is a spoolie with it i really want to have a spoolie in all my brow products so that's the one thing i'd say is uh, needed and because of the very thick tip i'm not feeling much confident about you know doing my brows especially in the beginning so I'm doing it with very light hand. Okay, one thing I'm noticing that uh, this product already tamed down my brow hair. So if you have very bushy eyebrow naturally, then you'd love this pencil. You don't need any extra eyebrow gel to set your eyebrows because it's already uh, set on place. And uh, for my brows, I mean, I have very thin uh, sparse eyebrows. So it's uh, really good for filling up your brows. But if you want to draw the shape of it or you want to define your brows uh, in the beginning, then I'd say this is not the product you are looking for. Uh, this one is not good to, you know, draw the brow shape. Uh, you need thinner tip for that. But overall, I'm liking it so far. I think it's pretty unique formula wise and the concept of it, it's so good. And uh, it's very quick as well. I'm going to throw it in my go-to makeup bag. It will be good for day-to-day -day use. And now I'm going to do the other brow. Well, my brows are done now. And uh, now I'd say... I'm not completely happy the way my brows are looking right now. I'm a very, very picky person when it comes to brow products. And the way I do my brows, it has to be that same way. But with this one, I got no chance to play with my brow shape. So I'd say it's only good for filling up your brows. And at the end, it will give you uh, this kind of fuller look that for sure. So overall, I'd say it's a good product, but not for everyone. So this is it. And now I'm going to uh, conceal around my brows. So I'm going to use this uh, Super Stay Concealer by Maybelline as well. So this is it and now I'm going to do the base makeup of camera and then I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm back with the base on and uh, in the last video I shared how to uh, get the flawless base. So if you want to check that video, I'll be put the link in the description box below. And today I use the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation along with their Super Stay Concealer. So this is how it looks and for bronzer, I used my all time favorite. I know you can guess it. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and now I'm going to apply blush. So I thought to uh, share with you because it's another newly launched Maybelline product but they launched it few months back so it's not that new but I think I never used it in any of the uh, YouTube videos. So it's one of my favorite go-to uh, product. So it's a very nice creamy blush. 
and the best part is it blends so easily just with your fingertip it will be all blended and uh, I'm using the shade Rose Flush at first it feels very creamy but more you dab it with your finger it will melt down into a very uh, thin consistency and at the end I'm gonna blend it with this beauty blender and now I'm gonna do the eye makeup so for that I have a new product with me that is the Maybelline Color Strike so they named it a Color Strike Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Paint which is pretty interesting I never used this kind of stuff before from any other brand so I really love the color of it it's a very pretty dark burgundy color and it's in the shade Tamed 15 so now let's just apply okay it has this kind of sponge tip applicator and uh, I believe I won't make any mess. So let's start. Wow, not bad, right? You can see a lot of pigment already. So now I have an idea. So I'm gonna apply it with this flat brush. Applying it with a brush was not a good idea so all I did is just outlined a shape and uh, in the middle I'm going to fill it with the applicator itself. Alrighty, it's pretty pigmented. I'm already liking this product and uh, it's very easy to work with. So now I'm going to clean up the edges. Alright, I'm done applying this product on both the eyes and uh, the first thing I'd say this is the most easiest and coolest thing ever. I mean, you don't even need any eyeshadow brush to apply any eyeshadow on your eyes. I mean, what else you could ask for, right? This is the easiest thing and uh, you can see the color payoff is so good. All you need to do is just tap, tap, tap and that would be it. Especially if you want to do a smoky eye. This would be the easiest thing to do with like tap and then blur out the edges with your fingertips and I'm loving this product so far and especially it's really good to travel with and other than that you can see it looks little patchy here and there maybe because of several layers and uh, now I'm gonna complete this eye look and now I'll try to put this pearls around this shape. And now I'm going to use the same eyeshadow a little bit. And this time I'll try to blend it with a brush. And for mascara I'm using my all time favorite Essence uh, Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Alright, my makeup is almost done and I'm loving how it turned out and uh, now I'm left with only one product to try that is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss uh, Lip Gloss and it has hyaluronic acid in it so it would be very moisturizing lip gloss as well. So I picked the shade Ruby but let me tell you what actually uh, made me buy this product that is the packaging. I mean it has the exact same vibe as the KKW uh, lip glosses although those are a very pricey but this one is very affordable so I really want to try and uh, the shade here is reminding me of the Fenty gloss bomb so I'm having very high hopes uh, for this lip gloss so now without doing any further delay let's just put it on and the applicator here is very similar to Fenty gloss bomb okay it's on and uh, to be honest I'm not that happy with the way it's looking on my lips although from outside you can see the pigment and the, the glitters it's very gorgeous if you see from the outside but it looks so sheer on lips and the glitters in it almost doesn't show up uh, and uh, the formula is very thin not as thick as a lip gloss and uh, I don't know how to feel about it but I was expecting way more from this product and I'd say you'll get better lip glosses from drugstore even in cheaper price so I don't really recommend this lip gloss it's very very average or below average so this was it for today's video I hope you liked watching then don't forget to 
hit the like button and please subscribe before you leave. I'll be back with the next one. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.